I'm recording. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that pulls me really hard. <laughs> hey, bitch. I'm back. I'm back with a new video. Yes, in one week. A bitch is on her grind. I'm working like five days out of the week. Just kidding, four days. Well, I'm not really working. Shh. Today, I'm coming back with a video that I promised one person because I mentioned in my other video that I wanted to do a haul of my um, eyeshadow palettes. And my best friend told me that she wanted to see it, so I'm making this video for my best friend. Her Instagram is called Styled by Leslie. I'm gonna put the at right there and link it down below. Go follow my bitch because she's on her grind as well. I love that bitch. She's better at makeup than me. Anyways, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Comment down below a video idea you guys want me to do. Honestly, I'm gonna do whatever I want, but if someone comments something, I'll do it. And like this video, please subscribe because I only got one subscriber and I had to put in my gunpoint to subscribe. Okay, so basically, I'm in this video, I'm just gonna show you all the palettes that I've bought myself with my money. No one has bought me these palettes besides one, and it was my brother. He bought it for me. The first palette I have in my collection is a palette that doesn't is the only palette that i have that doesn't have the box on it is because when i got the palette the box was fucked up they put it in a little ass box all to the delivery they put it in a little ass box and i was just like girl but anyways it's the james charles palette she's a little bit used but look this is what i was talking about let me show you guys because this is not what i did i take care of my palettes this it came bent like that and the box was worse so i threw it out this is a James Charles palette. I'm sure I fucked up that shade because I used so much setting spray in it. She's good on a finger swatch, but when you use her with a brush, she sucks. I'm not sure how how I feel about this palette. Um, I haven't got to play with it that much, but I know the browns are nice and to blend the shimmers is what gives me trouble. The next palettes I have are, st are still in the box they came in because I have nowhere to put my makeup, so. If I can keep the box, I keep it. And Jeffree Star's boxes are amazing. So the first one is in the Jawbreaker palette. Yo, I love Job Jeffree Star's palettes. In my other video, people thought I was hating on him and someone gave me a dislike, but really, I love him. This is a Jawbreaker palette. Oh. I've played with some shades, um, not on myself, but on other people and are not easy to blend. If I'm gonna recommend a palette that you guys should use on other people, you should use the um, Jaclyn Hill palette because those eyeshadows blend like butter. My favorite palette, I love that palette. It literally blends so good. But this is a Jawbreaker palette, the big one. It's pretty, I like this palette. And then I have the mini, which you guys should know by now because I have three of them now because of the mystery boxes. This is a mini palette. I haven't got to play with this yet, as you can see. Just swatch them. They're cute. Wouldn't really come into the palette for like to make a look with it. I probably would just get the palette to use one shade in here. But I bought it, you know, because it's Jeffree Star. You have to buy his makeup. You can't support him and not buy his makeup. Okay, so the next palette I got is one of the newer palettes that I just got. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about this box. It does not like to stay together. I try to hook it in and see it's like, I don't know. Whatever, it wasn't that expensive. But this is the palette, um, the Morphe X Jeffree Collection. This palette. I love this palette. Oh my God, let me show you guys a swatch of this one shade I'm like obsessed with. This is the palette, it's brand new, I just got it. So this is the shade I'm talking about. Ooh, let me show you. I'm gonna hit pan on this just from swatching it. Ah, oh, that is so good, bitch. Oh my God. When I first got that, I was like, oh. And this is not a palette, but I do have the brushes that um jeffree star came out with morphe brushes i have the face one and the eye brushes i'm not gonna really open it because you guys seen it i'll insert a picture but they're really cute i love this bag like i'm gonna take these brushes out and put it in my morphe the james charles brush that i have because i have a brush set from james charles and i'm gonna just put these brushes in here put makeup in here because baby these are free makeup bags well not free because i paid for it the next palette i have is from kim kardashian this palette is so soft and pretty. I love this. I bought it and have not played with this yet. <laughs> I haven't played with any of my palettes, but I have used them a little bit. But this palette feels so soft, like matte. I love it. And then the actual palette doesn't feel like it, the, the box does, but it's still matte feeling. And here we go. Oh my god. This is so pretty. Genesis. This palette is so pretty, especially this shade. Swatches like a dream. Look. 
Yes. I know this palette is gonna be better. I haven't got to try the eyeshadows yet, but when I do my brows, I'm gonna do like use this palette. One of the next palettes I have is a brand new palette that Anastasia just let out. Uh, not that new, but it's one of the newer palettes, and it's Jackie Ina's palette. Oh, I cannot wait to get to play with this palette. I bought it because I was like, oh my god, like I don't really have a natural looking palette besides the Jacqueline palette. And I was like, this is a good palette. And I can't wait to try this palette because these colors are really pretty. And one of the, I forgot, there was one eyeshadow that swatched amazing. I'm not sure if it was Zam or Dualas. One thing I'm not a fan about Anastasia palettes is that when you um, dip in, like it kind of breaks the shadow. And I'm like, fuck, it's not even a new palette anymore. It was Zam. Bitch. Come on now. This palette is super pretty as well. Oh my god. So I only have four more eyeshadow palettes to show you guys. The first palette is not, um, the first palette I have is not a eyeshadow palette. It's the KKW Contour Kit. You already know. Those. This mirror is amazing. I haven't got to use these yet. I have used the highlighter. It was kind of pretty. But I use it on my bare skin, so it's kind of like, you know, not the same. Because I have like dark spots. I love anything KKW comes out with. I love Kim Kardashian. The next palette, I when I first got saw it, like Anastasia let it out. I was like, oh my god, it's such a pretty ass palette. So I had to get my hands on it. And I was shocked to find out that her palette is made out of jean material. Like, g denim? That's what you call it? It's made out of denim, like it feels so rich. Yes. I have played with this eyeshadow before. I did not post it because mm, it she wasn't cute, that cute. I did the look in 10 minutes and it wasn't that cute. And I was like, I'm not gonna post something I half assed. So, but this palette is actually really good. It blends really well and it's super pigmented. Oh my God. The next palette I have is a Nervina palette. Yes. This palette is so pretty. So pretty, this box. I love this eyeshadow palette. I bought it because I was like, I need more neutrals because I don't like, like I like doing colorful eyeshadow looks. Oh my God, I look so good. I like doing colorful eyeshadow looks, but you know, sometimes you have to tone it down and how am I gonna tone it down if I don't have palettes? So I bought this one, it was cute. It feels like suede. I love suede. I wanted to buy her new palettes that she's letting out, but damn, they're expensive and I don't have money. If you guys wanna buy me a birthday present, give me the new Huda Beauty palette or that one. My birthday's next month on the 10th, so you already know. The next palette I have, I bought it because I love this bitch. I'm obsessed with Alyssa Edwards. She is so weird. That's why I love her. On her season of RuPaul's Drag Race, I swear to God, she thought she was so funny. That's why I love her. Because I was like, oh my God, she's so weird. Everyone hates her. I always love the people that everyone hates. You know who else I like? On season four, <clears throat> on season four I know a lot of people hated this guy. But I loved him. I loved Willem. Oh my god, he was so funny to me, especially in the snatch game when he did the arrow thing to Latrice. That shit killed me. All right, Jessica Simpson. Fatty Patty's so fat. When she gets on the scale, it says. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, my god. Uh oh. These young people, see, they don't have no respect. No respect. No respect. <laughs> I love Willem, like, he's one of my favorites. And I love Alyssa, cause she was so funny on the All-Star season. She like completely made up for not being funny in season five. And her palette is amazing. I love this palette. Yes, Alyssa. And look at it, oh my God. Oh, I just added a little in a corner highlight, just if you guys were wondering what I was doing. I love RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm waiting for them to add the new seasons on Hulu because they don't have them. And I really want to see the new seasons because I, you know, like, a bitch is not gonna pay $20 for one season. I don't care how much I wanna see the show. I'm not gonna pay that much. But I loved Alyssa, I love Willem, I love Sharon Needles, I love... You guys probably like, who the fuck are they? Because you know, that's... The season's from so long ago. Oh my God, and from season six, I love Adore Delano, bitch. Yes. I love how people were like hating on Alyssa, uh, Fifi O'Hara. 
but look who has a palette with Anastasia, not you. That's all the palettes I have for this, this week's video. But next week I'm gonna do a review on this eyeshadow palette right here. The Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette and I cannot wait because I have not got to try this palette and I'm finally gonna be doing my makeup on camera. That's if I do my brows. If I don't do my brows, then I can't do it. So that will be like all the palettes I have. And to me, it's not a lot of a lot of palettes, but it's kind of a lot because I bought all of them with my money. I did not um, get them in PR. Although I wish I have I'm on Jeffrey Star's PR list. I don't think I'm gonna be on it after what I uploaded last week, but that's fine. I will still buy his palettes. Okay, so this is the end of the video, you guys. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Comment down below a video you guys would like me to do or a review you guys like me to do. Or comment down below if you want me to buy makeup because I don't have money, but bitch, when I want money, I save it and I buy my makeup. That's how I bought all my makeup. I saved my money and I bought it, period. Because I love makeup. There's nothing better than getting makeup in the mirror. I'm like, ugh. Oh. By the way, Jeffree Star has the best shipping, even though it takes long. His boxes come so nice, wrapped in his tissue paper with his names on it. The boxes are colorful, as I showed you in the beginning. I have a mess here, but look. It comes with a little postcard. It comes with like such little details that no other brand does. Jeffree Star, I love when I get packages from him. I feel like, oh my God, like it's, I feel so, I feel like my money was well spent because his palettes, I love how they come. Anyways, this will be the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. That's it. I have to edit this and be up by tomorrow.